So in the box, along with uh, your Adirondack chair, should be some instructions for assembly. They'll look just like so. A few sheets like that. Feel free to refer to those. Um, otherwise, we're going to take through all the necessary steps to assemble your chair right now. You're going to have a back piece like so, a base like this, the two arm rests right here, and the two front legs. And what you'll notice is that there are these little dowels right here at the bottom of the top piece, and there'll be little drilled out holes for those dowels on the base. So this will just sit right in there, should fit right into those holes. Just get it lined up properly. And it'll sit right in there. Just like so. What we're going to need first here to attach the back to the seat are two, actually four total, two for each side, of these small screws. We have our drill here and our screws. These screw holes on the base of the chair which you'll be able to see right down here, should be pre-drilled. So you can just go ahead and take your screws, set them in there, twist them a little bit to get them started, and it should just work its way right in there, like so. And then drill in these screws on the side into the pre-drilled holes. Now repeat the same actions on the opposite side. Same drill holes will be over here. Two screws, one for each hole. And that will secure the back to the base. So next step, we're gonna go ahead and grab these two boards right here. These are the front legs. They're gonna go ahead and attach right on the front here. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab uh, per side, you're going to need six. You're going to need six total of these bolts right here. So take this one over here, lift up like so, and the bolts will slide right through. And you go ahead and take your hardware, reach around to the underside, underneath here, where the bolt is protruding, and go ahead and lock on the uh, nuts and bolts. Okay, now we're going to do the other side, and we'll just place this here, and again, all these holes are pre-drilled, so these bolts will just slide right through the pre-drilled holes, both in the leg and on the side of this piece, and just slide right in like so. The last two pieces are the armrests right here, so the other piece is almost fully assembled, the armrests um, are just going to lay right on top here, lay right on top, and uh, there will be pre-drilled holes both in the front, three in the front here and two in the back. We're going to start in the back again with these bolts. We're going to go ahead and uh, two per side right in the back here. They just slide right through the pre-drilled holes, top to bottom, line them up and they slide right through. Go ahead and secure them with the washer and the nut. So now the final step will be to drill in these screws, just like so, same one we used to secure the back. Make sure this piece right here, this board is lined up properly with the screw on the top, and if you need to, you can press a little bit to angle this leg forward and push the back back a little so that the screw is lined up evenly. And go ahead and secure that, like so. And then you want to just repeat this process for the other side. And there you have it, your fully assembled Adirondack chair. Just took about 10 or 15 minutes or so. Um, obviously faster with the power drill to make a screwdriver, but again, a screwdriver is a sufficient tool to put this piece together. It's really all you need. Um, all the holes are pre-drilled, as we said. Uh, you're gonna wanna get a flathead screwdriver, uh, follow the assembly instructions as I showed them, and you have your Adirondack. <laughs>